Hey guys, welcome to Trade Skill Master version 4 of Profits TV's gold making series. Yes, as of this recording, Trade Skill Master 4 has been officially been released. It's out of beta. It's open there to anyone who wants to join the masses and take a look at what's actually available in uh, Trade Skill Master version 4 compared to version 3, 2, and going way back to earlier days. So this is the introduction video that I plan on sharing with you some of the differences in the UI and, and what's going on. The My Video Part series will be breaking down over multiple components, uh, probably about a 10, 10 to 12 series, uh, mini series uh, that you can actually select and learn based on what you want to do. So first of all, TradeSkill Master still opens the same way. As you can see, I'm, I'm actually using the LVY skin, so your UI might look a little different. But if you look at your mini-map in the upper right-hand corner, typically where it is, you'll see a Trade Skill Master version 4. Or you can still do slash TSM if you so choose to open up the actual uh, menu as well. Welcome, guys, to Trade Skill Master 4 UI. The brains of what it is is this is what you're seeing now. <clears throat> you will open up to the dashboard view. Prior, you used to have t individual tabs at the top that you can actually click on to go to different components. Now the entire UI is actually, and to me, quite nice, uh, been revamped and updated to make it look more fancy, if you will, more futuristic, if you will, less rigid. So I, I really dig this UI, so hats off to the team that are made this possible. So from the opening, you'll be into the dashboard view. This gives you an overview of the information that's currently out there. You'll see some of the blog posts information uh, being captured on the left-hand side here. This nice panel. So you can just keep up to date if you wanted to. Uh, you can uh, copy uh, any of this URL type information if you want to go directly to these sites to be able to research further information. So I really enjoy this part of it. Informational panel, if you will. Uh, down there, of course, is the main URL, tradeskillmaster.com, where you can find a whole slew of information and you should be spending time there to learn about Trade Skill Master and its functionality from the web side uh, as well. So moving to the right side of this pane, you'll see here that you have the ability now to distinguish uh, from a player perspective all of your tunes or specific guilds. Uh, you'll be able to select uh, information here. And then most of the time when you come in here, because you really don't have that amount of historical data if you're new to Trade Skill Master, or if you're just getting into version 4, you'll want to change this past year to be applicable to uh, within a year, within a week, or within a couple days. Uh, event eventually, you'll have trending information to be a month and then ultimately to a year as well. So if this panel is blank to you when you first come in, don't worry. Just select uh, whether you want to see all tunes, select a tune that you remain or all of you guys. Change this from year to seven days. And you should see trending type information if you've been using Trade Skill Master at the time of those transactions. <clears throat> Additionally, from the top information, you can also do sales trending type information as well, which provides again the same information from the top, but you can track all of your guild, all of your guilds or tunes, or individually selected uh, unique characters that again that you want to do. Per transaction on, per day on, you have this ability to do uh, transactional information to find the typical stuff that you'd find in the accounting section in T Trade Skill Master version 3. Now, again, it's available in one view, all your statistical information that you might want to see. And most people like to see, what are my sales uh, going on? Uh, what's the top items that I'm selling here? And uh, what's the profit? This is typically uh, what most people like to see at the bottom. Uh, they brag about uh, how much gold they make. Well, this is the section down here that most likely they're talking about. So that's the dashboard view, folks. Very simple, very straightforward. Up at top is the actual group section. So notice the groups now, will they still function the same way as they did in Trade Skill Master version 3. Groups are still groups. Within groups, you have items. Uh, you could have subgroups uh, within groups. Uh, and likewise... You have operations, which is actually the actions uh, you want to take on those groups. And the operations, uh, which we'll get to uh, in another video specifically for operations, we'll dive into those. And the same thing about this tab. Uh, we'll get into groups. 
uh, as well in a future video so you can dig deeper into how to actually change and, and uh, do these changes. So groups obviously have operations. Operations, again, are the actions that you want to take upon the items in the groups. And the same functionality is still available. You have the auctioning operations, crafting, mailing, shopping, sniper, uh, vendoring, and warehousing. Uh, these were the core that were carried over uh, from prior Trade Skill Master versions. And they are available for you in all their glory in Trade Skill Master version 4. The next section is the ledger. Uh, this will be coming soon in regards to the inventory. These next couple sections break down into subsections. As you click on them, you'll see the expanded subsections. So the revenue, again, gives you almost like the accounting details prior. Uh, with the items, you'll be able to filter by columns at the top by clicking on any of these. Uh, you'll be able to refilter uh, the listing that's here, showing your time frame, your gold, the amounts, uh, the different items if you want to do alphabetical type order. Render them, uh, the stack counts, the auctions, and per items. All of these are left clickable, which will sort the column appropriately uh, by the list. You can also do, if you wanted to, uh, bracers. You can type in specific information to filter this. You can type in uh, or select from the drop down different types of, again, to filter this list down to be unique based upon your group. So you could see all right, in my transmog group, what actual items did I sell from that group? What did I, what did I make off those items? You can also do it by type. Uh, all is all of the different types of transaction types in this second or this third column here. Uh, auction is specifically auction. Uh, COD, as you know, is cash on delivery, which someone sends an item through a mailbox with an attached amount that they expect to be returned. Trading is exactly that, trading uh, from one player to another, and then vendoring is what you're doing uh, with NPCs or non-player characters in the game. You can also do by rarity, filtering by common, uncommon, rare, and epic. You can do it again by character, and you can do it by time frame. So you get some pretty good, uh, powerful functionality at a quick glance based on what you want to see by sales. You also have other, again, tracking uh, what type of, where's your revenue uh, going to, where's it coming from. Uh, within these revenue uh, expense streams here. So you can see a lot of bit of you, you can track, which is pretty neat, uh, what kind of repair bills you're actually getting, what's going on, time frame. Again, all filterable at the top. <clears throat> Money transfers between accounts, uh, garrisons, by character, by time frame. Same thing with resale. What did you actually flip? Uh, known as flipping if you wanted to buy from the auction house, buy low, sell high. You'll be able to track this information here too. Again, all filtered at the top based on what you want to see. When you click on expenses, again, you'll see the expand uh, subcategories down here, purchases, almost like the revenue, tells you exactly where your money's going, uh, what's going on with your money, what are you investing in. Uh, at a quick glance, you can kind of take a look at uh, what's going on here. In the other section, almost like in uh, the, re -re uh, the revenue, other section, it gives you a glimpse of some of the details of where you're spending your money on, where you're making your money, where you're spending your money. Uh, and so forth. Failed auctions is another nice uh, category for statistics here that you can track. Uh, these are also you can uh, attach to operations, which we'll show in another video, which basically allows you to not post items if they exceeded a certain amount of uh, failed auctions or expires, if you will call it that. Canceled, what have you actually done uh, with your items that you're interacting with the auction house? So you'll get all your statistics and metrics here. Back to the top, you have an operations section. Again, the core operations from prior versions of Trade School Master have been migrated over, so the same functionality exists with more powerful features, which we'll go to in a later video. But uh, as was mentioned, you have auctioning, which is uh, what you plan on selling. You have crafting, mailing, shopping, which you plan on buying. Sniper on operations, if you like to snipe the auction house. Uh, vendor in, and also warehousing are still available. We'll go through these details uh, in another video and showing you exactly what this default uh, operation is and then adding your own operations. The import export feature is still available, which is great. This allows you to share groups, uh, obtain groups from other resources or other uh, people that you like to share your Trade School Master profile details with. Uh, you'll be able to import their strings. Uh, you'll be able to import uh, their operations. 
uh, you'll be able to uh, do a whole bunch of different types of functionality from here that was also available in Trade School Master version 3. This is nice uh, and a nice little subsection with uh, these nice sliders, if you will, to be able to opt in or opt out based upon uh, how you actually want to import or export. So this is the import menu. Again, it's uh, comma delimited. Even says comma delineated or comma delimited, please. So you want to make sure that when you're importing here, it's a, it is comma separated or comma delineated, and then you hit import. When you do an import, which we'll talk about in another video specifically for importing and exporting, it, there is confirmation as well that you'll go through. So there's additional steps when you paste information in here and click import. There's some other steps that you have to take that kind of give you a confirmation window, if you will. Export is here as well, where you'll be able to export specifically different types of sections if you want different groups you want to export different types of operations all those are available here that you'll be able to do lastly on the main ui page you'll see settings uh, settings is pretty powerful and i highly recommend taking your time to go through th uh, these components because this will give you the ability to uh, show whether it's from a tooltip perspective or how you want certain uh, gold statistics to show uh, and tooltips and how you operate uh, with your profiles and all these different operations how you want to interface with those so starting from the very top uh, settings you know you have general settings here which you can hide in hide the minimap icon which just appears right away if you look in the lower on the right hand side here immediate functionality uh, you don't need to do any slash reloads store operations globally meaning making it available to other folks uh, on your accounts other tunes uh, the default price source that you want to do, uh, the default chat tab that you want to do, this allows you, a uh, Trade Scope Master, to output to those specific chat windows that you might have set up, whether it's general, recording, loot, or whatever your chat is. By default, it's going to the general chat. You can ignore or, uh, you know, forget guilds or forget different types of characters. Uh, you can have your current profiles again. It's currently default, but you could name your profile, click Create Profile. And that would restore uh, or store or anything specific to that character that you can also sync. You can also have uh, enable Twitter integration, which allows you to, uh, through Trade Skill Master, when certain things are performed, you can actually click that link and it would provide that TSM link to the tweet uh, message, specifically like when you do screenshots or achievements or uh, whatever that's going on with the auction house, you'll put the actual TSM link in there so they can click on that and go directly to it. In the tooltip section, further details and expansion, which we'll go about in different parts uh, in another video. We'll talk about each of these sections in the settings uh, portion of Trade Skill Master. We'll do this in a separate video. So those are the main features that you'll see. Six features or services uh, with additional features on each that you'll be able to uh, incorporate into your Trade Skill Master, your auction house mastery, if you will as you go through this new version of trade skill master so that's a wrap up for this video folks hopefully you enjoyed it again trade skill master version 4 introduction video over what you, what to expect and see uh within the actual ui we'll get into another video of actually opening up the auction house and how that looks and across uh, these different types of four main categories as well in a supplementary video but for now Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up the video. Provide me any comments if you like to. And again, uh, we appreciate you supporting these video series. And uh, by all means, happy gaming and happy earning. Take care, guys.